Let's talk about using ID selectors. One common way to use ID selectors is to um, use it for layout. Uh, let's give a real quick example of that. Um, let's say that I want this to be in a sidebar, you know, maybe over around the side with the text uh, wrapping around it. Um, this doesn't have any particular um, specific HTML tag for it. So what I want to do is put a div tag around it and I can do that with this button insert div tag. If you don't see these icons across the top um, use this pull down menu to go to classic view and then you'll see them up here. So what I do is I highlight the area that I want um, to be surrounded by the div and I click on this insert div tag button and I get this dialog box. So I want this div to wrap around what I have selected and I want to create a new CSS rule that's going to um, describe how that's going to look. This is going to be an ID and I'm going to give it the name um, I'll call it quote sidebar and I'm going to go ahead and put this into that external style sheet that we created hit OK and then I get my familiar uh, dialog box where um, I could go ahead and specify the text the way that the text looks inside here. Um, I'm going to ignore that for now. Um, I can give this a background color. Uh, let's make it um, how about a, a peach and um, I'll go ahead and give it a border. Oh I'm sorry a padding and a border. So we'll just put um, a double line around it. Um, so now if I hit apply I don't see anything happen. Um, I have to, What I have to do is hit OK and then come back and finish up the div and then I see all of that has taken place. So um, it, what I've done is I've, I've put a div tag around here. If I go ahead and go to split view I can see what that looks like. So this div has the ID of quote sidebar and, um, and that quote sidebar ID defines how that's going to look. So let me go back to design view. Then I'm going to go to page 3 and page 3 um, it has this quote in it but it doesn't have the div so what I can do is I can again I can select this and insert the div tag. Now this this time I already have this ID defined so I don't need to do it again I just select it and then I hit OK and then that's done. So um, if I want to I could go in and change that change the way that it looks and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you a few of additional things that you can do with the, this uh, dialog box. One of the things that I could do is I could specify the width of this box. Maybe I want it to be only 200 pixels wide. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. You can see what that looks like. And if I want to I can go to um, float this to the right. Hit apply. And then we'll see that now it's floating um, and the text is wrapping around it. Now when I do that I see that it probably needs a little bit of padding between the text and here. Um, it, so we need margins. We need some space around the outside of this box. Uh, let me just go ahead and give some on the left. I'll, I'll give it a pad a margin of about 30 and hit apply and then notice that now I have some spacing around there. So now that I've changed the way that that ID looks then if I go to another page that's used it then notice that it's changed in there as well. In page 4 I never define the div so again if I just highlight that, insert the div tag and then give it an ID of quote sidebar then it it too looks the same